final day of the legislative session before the veto recess begins and lawmakers are expected to work right up to tonight's deadline. There are many bills on the table. Some are on their way to the governor's desk and some are still being heard in the House and Senate. Lawmakers will reconvene March 29th for two more days of the session and must adjourn by midnight on the 30th. Now let's look at some bills that were discussed and voted on today. A Senate committee considered House Bill 249, also known as Kimber's Law. It expands sentencing guidelines for anyone who commits murder for kids under 12 to aggravated circumstances. This law could include the possibility of life without parole and the death penalty unless an amendment on the bill passes. The law is named after a two-year-old who was beaten to death by her mother's boyfriend. There were more bruises on her body than skin, and she died a terrible death at the hand of her mother's boyfriend. When she arrived at the hospital, she was dead. Her mother had to make the decision to unplug her from life support three days later, which is a choice no parent should have to see. The law passed out of committee. Although he bleeds blue, he was in big red country today. University of Kentucky President Eli Capilouto was in Bowling Green earlier this afternoon. He was here to speak with members of the Bowling Green Chamber of Commerce about the university's mission to help advance Kentucky. A piece of legislation is currently being discussed in the Kentucky General Assembly regarding the hazing and death of former UK student Lofton Hazelwood. Lofton's law would make hazing a felony in the state of Kentucky. WBKO's Isaac Calvert sat down with Dr. Capilouto, who shared his thoughts on the proposed legislation. Laws can be important but our behavior on campus, how we educate our students, how we hold them accountable, our expectations for them uh, day in and day out, those are impactful as well. Right now, universities have the burden of disciplining and the max punishment is expulsion. Lofton's law has passed through the House 96 to three. Lawmakers revived a bill to ban certain medical care for trans children. There are two bills in play here. One, which sought to ban medical care for trans youth, had apparently stalled in the process, with the House and Senate unable to agree on the same version. So lawmakers amended a different bill, which was focused on pronouns with this gender-affirming care language to try and get it across the finish line. It will require school districts to ensure students use the restroom corresponding to the sex on their birth certificate. It bans doctors from performing gender reassignment surgery or prescribing puberty blockers to youth seeking gender care. If this legislation causes one child in Kentucky to consider or to take their own lives, it's the wrong piece of legislation. And we know multiple studies say that's the case. We're going to protect children. We need to ensure that the surgery or drugs that completely alter their life and alter their body is not something we should be allowing until they are adults and can choose that for themselves. In order to become law, the bill will need to pass both houses tonight. The legislative starts or legislature starts its veto session tomorrow, which allows it to override any vetoes from Governor Andy Bashir. Now here's some more bills that have made headlines throughout the regular General Assembly session. Senate Bill 5 would allow parents to challenge books and materials taught in schools. That bill is on its way to Governor Bashir's desk. We'll have more on this bill tonight on WBKO News at 10. House Bill 551 legalizes sports betting. We heard yesterday that this bill passed in the Senate and today it was it was its second hearing in the Senate. Senate Bill 47 is the bill that would legalize medical marijuana with some conditions. That bill needs a Senate vote before midnight tonight in order to pass legislation.